Hey guys, Zero here. Um, coming to you with uh, just kidding. It's not a deck profile. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, gonna be talking about Dark World today. I think it's gonna be a really good deck for the format. Um, but I just wanted to ask you guys, uh, what, in your opinion, what cards, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, are staple in the deck? What cards you should run? What cards you shouldn't? Um, I don't have all the cards yet. I'm kind of waiting for them. Or waiting in the mail. Uh, from Team Delta Force, but he did send out, so I'm kind of just waiting for the mail to get here. So I'm just going to kind of go through the cards and uh, the ones that I like. I don't have all of them yet, but um, I'll just talk about them, and uh, yeah, you guys can give me your thoughts down below. Um, first card is Grapha. Should you run one or three? No, I'm just joking. That's obviously three. I'm not going to go through those. Brawl is all stable. Um, Beige. I've seen some people run... Um, one. I have seen a lot of people run three. Uh, I run two. I like two. Um, I think three is fine as well. But I just want to know what you guys think. Two, one, one, two, or three beige. Um, I'm running two beige just because I run the one silver. But that's because I'm running a deck devastation virus as well. It gives me another target. And I like silver because he gets over Stardust Dragon and whatnot. So he's really good. Um, Trans Archfi now, in, in my opinion. Booster Juice. Free advertising. In my opinion, is um, a staple. I personally like three. I think three is really good. Um, but I also have seen people run two and one uh, Fabled Raven. I think that's fine as well. Um, the one thing I do like about about Trans Arch, you know, is he is a floater, um, whereas Fabled Raven obviously isn't. Um, so, let me know what you guys think about that. I actually don't even think you really need Raven in the deck now that Trans Heart Chain's out. I just think the deck has enough consistency now that it doesn't. Uh, Morphin Jar, that's not what I want to talk about. Do you guys think Morphin Jar is a must play? I've some, seen some people not play it, but I always seem to... Even though a lot of time when I set it, my opponent activates it, he only say I have like five cards, he only has two. Um, a lot of times the cards I'm going to be having in my hand, I'm only going to be setting this if I have... Uh, Dark Worlds to discard and get pluses off of them. Um, he's always good too when uh, when your opponent's got um, got a full hand and you can just be able to set all the cards and then flip this guy next turn and they don't expect it and they minus and you plus. So uh, I think Morphine Door is actually a staple in deck. Some people don't think so, but I do. Um, next is Dark World Dealings. Uh, I run just one, but um, I've seen some people run up to three. I think this is a good card and a bad card. It lets your opponent uh, field the graveyard um, with cards that he wants in there. Oh, there's Dave online. And he, uh, or this also um, gives you an unlimited searchable uh, discard uh, outlet, which is good. <clears throat> um, Dark World Lightning, this is another one. I've been back and forth in this card. I keep testing one, but I always seem to draw it when my opponent doesn't have a set card. Uh, it does nice because it's searchable with snow. But uh, other than that, uh, I think it's a good card. I think maybe it's a one of, but I, don't, I can never see myself running more than one. Now these are the ones I want to actually talk about. These aren't Dark World cards, but in the deck. I've seen decks in the OCG and um, TCG even running just Heavy Storm. I've been testing just Heavy Storm and no MSTs. I actually don't like it. Excuse me, it's uh, for the same reasons I don't like it in Infernity. And it's just because a lot of times when you draw it, you wish it was an MST. The only time it's really good in the deck is when you go second and they go first and they set a couple back rows. It's the only time it's good in the deck. Because um, a lot of times you're going to be drawing all your traps and stuff and you're going to have your field spell up and you're just not going to want to nuke your own stuff. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, I like MST because you can set it. It's chainable and uh, it gets rid of Decree, um, stops their field spells when they're activating so you don't, you don't lose yours. And uh, I just think MST is a better card. Uh, in your opinion, how many would you guys run? Two or three? Let me know. Uh, another one's Terraforming. Um, I really like Terraforming uh, just because it's another searching card to get that, that uh, field spell faster. If I had room for it in my build, I would totally run one. Um, I'm testing one right now on Dueling du Network and I do really like it. But uh, let, me, let me know what you guys think about du uh, ter sorry, Terraforming in the deck. Uh, another one is Allure of Darkness. Now, this card just got even better in the deck because of Trance Archfiend. Um, basically, you go Allure of Darkness, remove from play Graffa, Snow, Brow, Beige, whatever. Summon Trance Archfiend, and then if they Trenchal it, or attack it and destroy it, you get that 
one of those remove from play cards back. So it just kind of fuels faster and it is a, it is a drawing outlet. I actually think this is really good. It's worth running. Um, I've been contemplating between this or duality. Now duality is a little more consistent, but I think the allure just works better at trance. And uh, I just like the card. It's, it's allures at one for a reason. Let me know what you guys think though once again. No one's Foolish Burial. I like Foolish. I think it's good for dumping stuff you need in the graveyard, but at the same time, it can be so dead late game. And it's not very good when you draw it when you already have a graph in the graveyard, because that's really all you're going to be doing is going first turn, Foolish Burial, graph a normal summon or special summon a Dark World, and then bounce it, bounce it back. It is a good card though, I think, I'm not entirely sure if I like it in the deck yet, but um, I haven't had enough experience with the deck to to know if it's uh, if it is a staple or not. But let me uh, let me know what you guys think. I'm hoping to get some opinions here from some experienced dark world players. Uh, next one that I've actually been running and I'm so far loving it. Like I have I never liked this card and in this deck it just blows my mind how good it is. Reckless Greed at three. It's crazy good in here. This deck doesn't need a draw phase because you just have so much drawing with the the drag downs and your gates. Card destruction, dark world dealings, you just have so much drawing that this, like the um, draw, the draw phase doesn't matter. So this card's amazing, it's chainable for one. A lot of people are running three MSTs right now in Heavy Storm, so you can always chain this. And if you draw two and set them in the same turn, you can chain, chain the other, and then it only counts for uh, one card's draw, two draw phases. So really you're getting a plus two out of it, which is pretty freaking amazing. Um, let me know what you guys think about this card. I do really, really like Reckless Greed at the moment, but I may change my opinion. We'll see. Um, let's see here. Another one. Um, Torrential Tribute. I think it's really good in the deck. Uh, now it's at two. I, I've seen a lot of decks running two, which makes sense. But uh, I've noticed in the deck that sometimes you, you'll have this set and you already have Field Presence. You really don't want to activate it. But the one thing that makes it so good is that you can have Trance on the field with the Remove from Play Dark World and you can trench the tribute and you still get trance's effect so that's really really good um and once again tr uh, trenchel is just a staple i'm just not sure if i should win one or two uh, another one of the cards is deck devastation virus um i would never run two i tried two i didn't like it i like one uh i've seen a lot of people not run this in the main i've seen them side it um I think it's worth maining this format just because of the maxis and bailers alone. Uh, even though those don't really hurt you, the chance of your opponent probably is going to have those game one in their hand, a lot of them, means that you can just wipe their whole hand a lot of time, which I've done games. I've actually uh, decked Devastation Virus to guy and I got a plus four off it in the first time I activated it. And then every turn after that he was drawing like 1400 monsters and stuff and it was just brutal. I think it was wind ups actually. This card's vicious against wind ups. Um, and Zectors actually. So yeah, I think this card's actually staple in the deck, this format. I think it's really good. Uh, any of the virus cards are busted. Um, I would side Eradicator Epidemic Virus, but I don't main it. So yeah, very good card. Uh, another one I don't have is Skill Drain. Um, I want to run two, uh, but I am not entirely sure if I'm going to have room for it. Um, I'm just having a hard time squeezing everything in. You guys will see when I get the cards from Team Delta Force in a week or so from now, uh, and I have the deck profile up, you'll see why I'm having problems squeezing things in, but when I do show you guys the deck profile of where I'm at, then you probably will have an easier time um, an or, uh, analyzing uh, where I'm at with the deck. So anyways guys, that's my um, little kind of overview of Dark Worlds. Uh, just give me any of the thoughts that you have about any of the cards I listed down below and why I should run them, why I shouldn't. and. Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, I'll, like I said, I'll have my Samurai deck profile and my Dark World deck profile probably early next week. Um, I'm just once again waiting for those cards from Team Delta Force. Uh, but before I go, I just want to give a shout out. Uh, and this is a very big shout out to a friend of mine. His name is Dave. Uh, and his YouTube account has actually just eluded me. <laughs> I know something master. Let me just check really quickly here. Anyways, uh, he is, um, he's just starting out. He doesn't have a lot of subscribers, but I do have him featured on my channel as well. Uh, he does have a lot of videos uh, for just starting out. Um, he has nine actually, which is pretty good. And uh, yeah, sorry, Keyblade Master 65. I'll put a link to his channel somewhere around here. And he just does, um, so far, from what I can tell, he's doing deck profiles. I know he's working on a Crystal Beast deck right now. 
And uh, he also has a trade binder and whatnot. So if you guys want anything for trade, make sure to check out his videos. And uh, just make sure to subscribe to him. I really appreciate it. And uh, he's a fr uh, friend of me and uh, Team Delta Forces. So he'd really be helping us out. And him, of course. Uh, so anyways, guys, um, that's the video. Thanks for watching. And uh, keep me posted on your thoughts on Dark Worlds. I think they're going to be really good this format. Peace.